Hi friends, I'm very excited to tell you that OpenAI pricing calculator has a new version. All right, I've upgraded it to 1.0 and I have few features that I'd like to share. So the first feature is this single click file to run the server. All right, so as you can see, it is turned on. Now let's open our Firefox. All right, so currently I've designated a port 7000 for it. So please keep that in mind. Starting from these buttons here. So to toggle your calculator, you just press this button and you have all the options available for you because this is a pro version and just type $18, click submit. And as you can see, we have all the details here. Uh, furthermore, I have shifted the toggle columns buttons to this collapsible sidebar. And uh, yeah, you can simply toggle it. And the great thing about this is you can actually enter some default hidden columns. Previously, it was hard coded. Now it is completely dynamic. So let's say you want to hide this use case type and code name. So the index number is just before that. So type two, three and four separated by comma and just click save and default columns updated. You can see that now you don't see those here. Click the table button again. And you can clearly see that out of these, these these three are actually hidden now since it is a toggle button you can still click on the type and the type will be available again now let's come to this one it says click refresh to update credits all right so this will pull up your actual open ai credits all right if you provide it an api key so right now if you click refresh because there's nothing in my table so let's click refresh and yeah Right now I have $15.2692. To add your API key to this application, you have to click on settings. All right, and here you can actually see your API key or hide it, all right, and you can update it. So let's say you typed something incorrect. Let's save that. Click on open AI calculator, refresh it again. It will say that you have invalid API key. This is the add model. So if OpenAI comes with another model, you can actually add new models from these two separate model types. All right, uh, let's go to feedback. Now this feedback is currently connected to my Telegram account. So all you have to do is just type in your email address. So I'll know it's from you and then type your feedback or your query. It is going to help a lot in developing this app into like something great. The best feature, which I really, really like is integration of API. So now you can actually connect this application with your own application through API. All the responses are in JSON format. So to access that, you simply have to type your local host or domain name if you're actually hosting this application. So slash API slash calculator. And then if you press enter, it will actually tell you that you need to type some query parameters. So you don't have to work with any fancy softwares. All query parameters are going to go in the URL. So just let me show you. Just type amount 100. So when you type simply amount, you are going to get the whole data. So image models and language models. Inside image models, you will get all the details that you're getting in that table. Now, if suppose you type tokens and let's make it thousand so that we can clearly see. Now, if you type tokens, you know that tokens don't apply to images. So you will only get language models. Let's type words and change it to 750, all right? So 1000 tokens are equal to 750 words according to OpenAI. So you see tokens have been updated accordingly as well the amount. Now let's change it to images. So let's say you want to buy 100 images. So you will have to pay this much of amount. So at a 102x level, you will have to pay $2, all right? Now there are a few other things that this API can offer. To access that, simply type docs, and you can see that these support some filtration methods if you type amount because you get a lot of data when you type amount and let's say 100. So we got all of this data. What if you only want to filter images and filter is equal to image. So as you can see, language models is currently empty because we did not query it. So it will also save you some query time if you want only the language model. So language. So now the image models are empty. Now further, you only want the usage model. So all you have to do is type use case, usage, all right? Now from eight models, you will only get four models because these four models are only for usage, not training. In the same way, you can do 
training and you will get these training models see ada dash t the api is working wonderfully and that is it for this video so please check out the link in the description below thank you and i'll see you in the next one